And I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for subscribing and hanging with me. We're gonna continue on. I was just looking at some, uh, I know this might not interest to everybody, but uh, I was looking at, you know, it's, uh, before I get a boat, maybe I'll try some drone fishing. Uh, I was looking at some, the drone I have has an attachment for dropping bait. So, you know, I could practice maybe parallel with the beach, see how far I, safely I can carry a line. So that way I could carry the line way out deep sea, you know, at least a lot farther than I could cast. So I can get out there where the bigger fish are. I might be able to fish right from my back door. That's, I'm gonna try that, but I don't wanna lose my drone, so I'm gonna practice a lot parallel with the beach so if something happens the drone will just land on the sand and uh, I'm gonna try that first and see how far I can go easily and then drop the drop the payload and make sure it can it can handle the line and then drop the pay uh, you know it'll be the hook and with the bait on there and everything it's gonna drop that and then come back to me come back home so We'll see how that works out. Okay. See all that pond? See, my theory is why the air breathe more oxygen here. My theory is when that wave curls over, it traps a lot of oxygen, a lot of air. And I'm not going to say oxygen gonna trap a lot of air underneath that roll and force it down into the uh, salt water then you know it foams up like that a lot of that is just what got trapped under there and uh if it's not polluted water like this white foam it's all clean it just it's just air trapped under there mostly and uh my theory is it takes all the pollutant out of the air. As the air gets forced underwater, it gets filtered by the water. And when it when the bubble pops, you know, it makes the bubbles. Once the bubbles pop, the air is much cleaner and breathable. More breathable. That's my theory. I never heard that said anywhere, but you know, I didn't research it or anything. So it's probably been talked about a lot. That's why the air near the ocean, it, it really, you take a deep breath and you feel like you got more. Wow, look at that wave. Woo, that's rough for here. Uh oh, here it comes. I take a deep breath, it's like I got three lungs. <laughs> if you're good at math, you know, you can get a lot of different kind of jobs. Including mine, you know, which is where I program computers on CNC equipment. You know, which, that, that I never finished that story, you know, the big machine came there and I volunteered. I didn't know anything about CNC. But I figured out my own way, you know, the book, the book was translated from Japanese into English, so, it explained things in a way that was impossible for English people to understand. Look at these colors, man. And uh, so I had to figure out my own way to um, operate the machine. And so I used a little bit from uh, YouTube, and then I learned how to, actually some of the programming examples were on YouTube. So YouTube is a great source of information. You know, if you, you're in a predicament and you only know half the knowledge, uh, you could probably find it on YouTube. You could probably find a way to help yourself on YouTube. And you know, those were Fagor panels. Uh, CNC panels that I was working with and if you're running into a problem with a Fagor panel 
or something like that, just drop me a comment, you know. I'll see if I can guide you the right way. Which I figured out my own way to do it, you know. So if you want it, if you want to figure it out by the book, you know, I just figure it out. So I can program. I can program, I can make any shape you want. What other thing do you want to do? You want to go like the, the herd, follow the herd, or you want a simpler way to program and be able to make the same exact shapes they make and uh, not be such a, a stiff, stiff neck. So I didn't learn anything from the book. I learned from a couple people and YouTube. YouTube and a couple people a little bit, but you know, people that program, they, they don't want to share their knowledge. So I mostly figured it out by myself. That's just how that works. If you got Fagor panels and you're new at it, drop me a line. I could probably just tell you a couple of sentences and you'd be all right. All right, because I'm very good at those panels. Wow. It looks like I saw some red sand. I don't know what that's about. Way out there. See it. Red sand in the daytime. You know, red skies at night, sailors delight. Red sand in the day. Bathers beware or something. I don't know. Whoop. So I'm gonna ride down here and see what if these hollow blocks are available for tomorrow. I need 200 hollow blocks to continue to drain this ditch. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and uh, try to get a, a, a tile saw, diamond diamond tile saw from Homeland, Homeline if they're if they're uh, if they're even open. I don't even know if they're open. So peace out for 62. I'm having a wonderful day just hanging around the homestead. And uh, what's gonna transplant? Maybe I'll transplant a uh, plant first before I go. Right, peace. Oh, that's a fast moving cloud. Or here anyway, with no storm. It'll be moving pretty quick. We see how many colors are out there. Just recently, some reddish looking sand came down the river. See that out there. It's, you know, it's from the ex excavation of the river where they mined the river. So, that's what that's about. You see way out there, that's the true color of the sea. That's egress that are plentiful around here. Now they got like fishing trawlers down here. That's a pretty big boat right there. It's a fishing vessel I'm sure. Look like a shrimp boat, but it's probably just fishing boat. Look there, I think they just carry gravel. It's like a barge boat. But these are fishing boats right here. Fishing boats. There's a blue one, some bigger ones up here. All right, let's go check them out. So there's some big boats right there. I guess they're getting repaired. This is like a shipyard for fishing boats. Yeah, I see some new wood right there. They come here in the safe harbor and they fixed their boat. Welcome to 62 to Freedom.
<laughs> it is build day 264 and the wood is still here for wrong You went fishing Sunday? <laughs> no, he didn't go fishing out there in that. No. That was crazy. Oh. There's the wood is not leaving. More is coming. More, not less. What is that? You collect? Huh? Marvin. Cannot get rid of the wood, more and more comes. <laughs> Want it to go. Go, go. Woo! Ah, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. We will get tiles for the inside steps and step nosing. And uh, last night it arrived, uh, the concrete hole saw, the diamond hole saw arrived for uh, fixing the holes that are gonna, you know, the post for the railing is gonna go in. How did these little babies get over the fence? Yeah. She must have had the babies here, huh? Sorry, tiles and step nosing and saw. Yeah. Maybe that's it, huh? I keep the turn, because uh, this is not uh, your turn. Right. I keep on uh, the Yeah. You bring this uh, tank uh, allowed, no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, or just use it here. Still churned up in the water. Although it's not as rough as it was yesterday. It rained, so it makes the river come harder when it's rained. It pretty much rained all night. It looks like uh, we need to call the window people and find out what kind of priority we got. So, that's the ticket for today. And I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for subscribing and hanging with me. We're gonna continue on. I was just looking at some, uh, I know this might not interest to everybody, but uh, I was looking at, you know, in, uh, before I get a boat, maybe I'll try some drone fish. Uh, I was looking at some, the drone I have has an attachment for dropping bait. So, you know, I could practice maybe parallel with the beach, see how far I, safely I could carry a line. So that way I could carry the line way out in deep sea, you know, at least a lot farther than I could cast. So I can get out there where the bigger fish are. I might be able to fish right from my back door. That's, I'm going to try that, but I don't want to lose my drone, so I'm going to practice a lot parallel with the beach, so if something happens, the drone will just land on the sand. And uh, I'm going to try that first and see how far I can go easily, and then drop the, drop the payload and make sure it can, it can handle the line, and then drop the payload, uh, you know, it'll be the hook and put the bait on there and everything. It's going to drop that and then come back to me, come back home. So we'll see how that works out. I didn't practice that over and over before I go out to sea with it. I don't know. I, I can't afford to get another drone, so <laughs> I don't want to. I'm, I'm kind of wary about it, but I might try it. Drone fishing. So it's, not, it's catching dust right now because I don't fly it that much anyway. So. But with a lot of practice, maybe I can I can get lucky, get some drone drone fish, get P 
reeling some drove fish. I don't know how far I could get out there. Probably, probably five times as far as I could cast it. So that'll be bigger fish, deeper water, bigger fish. So peace out from 62. Have a nice day. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out, you know. It doesn't cost you anything. Just hit that subscribe button, pal. Uh, YouTube will not bother you. I will not bother you. I will answer all your questions, though. Uh, that's one thing I will do. And hopefully I don't bother you to answer your questions. <laughs> all right, I'll see you on the flip-flop. See, uh, it was, you know, the river's flowing strong right now. As I told you all night long, it rained. It might still be raining a little bit up the top of those mountains. See how the clouds are up there? Clouds are on that peak, that peak, that peak. It's probably still at least drizzling up there, but it's clearing up, it seems like. But it rained pretty much all night. That's why it's flowing strong like this. But even during a drought, this river still flows after months and months of no rain. There is a natural uh, spring, you know, like an underground river coming out of the mountains. And uh, the mountains keep going that way for quite a while. So it's not like these are the only ones. So it looks cool here, right? And you see what I mean when out there, see how the, uh, it's blue and it, the river gets sand, I mean, the ocean gets sandy out there, the Sulu Sea. And plus you see them trucks down there, they're digging. They're mining, see it, the buckets going in the water right now down there. And they're gonna fill up them trucks and then they're gonna, they're gonna ride to a barge. Put it, well, they put it in storage usually. And then they have trucks that stay at the, see there's the supply right there that they, they keep up. And then the barge pulls up there and they just have crane right there and trucks that stay there and they fill up the truck and put it onto the barge and so these guys just supply that the the backup sand that you see the mountain of sand you see over there so that's how they mining it and they manage the river at the same time my wife is buying cigarettes off that little blue truck back there i don't know if you can see that that's the one that comes by our store, but I don't know. I guess you can see it in the mirror right there. But there's another, there's a little clothing store right there. So I'm stuck on this scary kind of road. That truck is blocking half of that lane. I'm blocking half of this lane because you see the guardrail there. It's like my, my house is just right over the ridge right there. But I didn't quite make it because she saw this cigarette truck. So uh, maybe she will come on. See, there she is walking up to that blue truck now. I don't know what takes so long. Just to buy some cigarettes. We're talking cartons. But dang, man. We're clogging up the road. I don't know what the story is to tell you the truth, so <laughs> I just guess it at this stuff. So uh I don't know, the dentist said they will call me back with the different levels of you know how to fix my teeth, but see these two really it's just they're not missing. They're just worn down from these teeth hitting it. And they got thin from the wear and they just chipped off. So there's only like half a tooth left there. So I'm gonna get the implant price. They pretty much already told me 80,000 pesos per implant from start to finish. And that would be zirconia. I'm pretty sure. It's a, you know, there's better advantages to zirconia than titanium some some titanium has the advantages sometimes and zirconia other times but 
it seemed like with all my research it seemed like they're leaning towards the zirconia i'm not i'm not going to take the high road this costs too much i'd love to have some uh implants and then just have like lily white teeth but it's not in the cards all right peace out 62 freedom hey good morning you sick? What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? You sleepy? Cannot split that, Gary, in half? Uh -huh. Cannot split that in half? Now with a chainsaw, it's not yeah, locked. Yeah. With a chainsaw? I got, I got that, sir. It's half? Yeah. Yeah. The, but the chainsaw is not long enough, huh? Ah, uh, that's okay, sir. Okay. I like to get. And then what are we gonna put on the uh how, how many long sir? Chair? How many long? Your chair? As, as long as it can be. Uh like the chair? Yeah, just ah, as, okay. just like in half and then somehow I will put the back like that. Yeah yeah yeah. I see that sir. And then put the Yeah. Like the carpet, sir? Yeah. Yeah. And just leave the bottom rough. Yeah yeah. And just pour a bunch of uh clear Clear gloss? Yeah. Yeah. Only only the front is uh, flat and the back is uh, rough. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's yeah. That's the time. Oh, yeah. This is where, oh, this is our selection. Look at these big old tiles. We break these up in transit because they're 60 by 120. But they're pretty. You know, less grout lines. I don't like grout lines. So I couldn't talk her into any bigger with. I try. <laughs> so. Hey. This TV looks big enough. So, I had to get this step nosing. So I had to leave my wife, my Salico in uh, San Jose and bring back the step nosing. I'm just kidding, she's, I'm her chauffeur. <laughs> she's hiding right there. I'm her chauffeur today. Oh, uh, where would you like to go, ma'am? Home 62, home. So I'll see you on the flip flop. So I got the towels here just in time. It's like, it's like 10 minutes till five or something like that. Five minutes till five. So, whoo, that's the doorbell. Aha! Yeah, I got that saw too. Oh, I'll put two of them there. Well, I don't know where they're going. Down the step. Oh. Not sure. <laughs> so, I can see what's been happening. Oh, it's already locked up. It's already locked up, man. Oh, now I can see. Oh, cement's happening. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's happening. Wow, the sea is still very rough. Let's go check that out. Whoa. Oh, that's some good looking dirt, right? <laughs> the dirt looked good gonna grow something right in front of the stuff look at all that wood that wood looks familiar <laughs> that wood looks familiar man nice Wow, it's beautiful out here, man. It's a nice, cool breeze. 
Wow, the water is coming up pretty high too. All right. 60 to freedom. Uh, my wife wants to go home, so she's sitting up there in a the car. So I'm gonna take her home. That's priority number one right there. Priority number one is her birthday tomorrow, so let's start it out right. Let's not hang around here too long. So peace out for 62 to freedom. And let me get a couple pictures of them going. All right. Peace.